do you know the problem set a text within your PLC box is a little bit wider than the PLC box itself? Or you want to generate a report and the text in the report is a little bit bigger than the column of the report? There are many ways to solve this problem. How to do this is part of this video, so stay tuned. As an example, I have here two conductors and below I have two texts. And what you can see here is that the text goes above each other. So this is the first thing we want to solve. We can go here, make a right click and go to line break. Or you can click here on where you want to make the line break and press Control enter This also ends up your line break. We can do it here as well. And then the text fits here on this position. The next thing we want to do is here on our PLC box. You can see that the text is a little bit wider than the PLC box itself. To solve this problem, we need to make some settings. The first thing I want to know is how wide is this PLC box. So I take the measurement and I can see it's 40 millimeters. And now we go here to the PLC box and we go to the tab display and function text automatic. This is basically what is shown here. And here you can change the size. For sure you can use also 1.3 millimeters. Then it's much more smaller and fits to your PLC box. But when you print it out, maybe nobody can read it anymore. So I change this back to 1.8. And now I go here a little bit deeper to alignment box. I activate this alignment box and set here the width to 39.5 millimeters. I keep it as it is because the width of the PLC box was 40 millimeter and it should be a little bit smaller. And I need to activate also text with fixed. So this checkbox and click OK. What now happens is that ePlan automatically insert a new line when the text is wider than the 39.5 millimeters. When I want to use it also here, I can just go, I can just mark this PLC, go to home, copy format, and assign format. When we have a look here on our function text, maybe you should think about if you want to use this also for this text. Because maybe you want to make some translations, or the text will be bigger, and you want to set a fixed value for the width of this text. Then you can go here to the tab format and also activate the alignment box and for example use here the 40 millimeters. We also activate text with fixed and click OK. So, and now I just add here a few texts and now you can see that automatically the text get a new line. I delete this. And now we want to have a look on the report. So I added here a small part list for this page and what you can see is that the designation of our parts is a little bit wider send the field for the designation. And what we need to do now is that we modify here a little bit our master data. So we go to master data and to form and depend if you want to make a new one or if you want to adjust the existing one, you can click open or make a copy. So I open this one. And now I have it here. And for sure, you can also take this part, make a right click and move. And now you can click Y on your keyboard that you make sure that you will be always in the right position. 
and can it make wider. Basically, you can move it so far away that it will fit here. But we want to have a look on the text, because we cannot make sure that the text maybe will be so long that it goes maybe to this field, this field, or this field. So also here we can activate the alignment box. So that means we need to measure how big this is. So this is 50 millimeters. So I think we can activate here and maybe make 49 millimeters. We also need to click on text with fixed and click OK. So now you can see the box. So we need to move this also a little bit. And we can close it, update our master data, and go to our tools and update. And now you can see that it changed. And if the text is bigger, it also make a new line. And now we come to the next point. So we go back to our form. And what we will do now is that we activate here text fitting permitted. And what we also want to do is that the height should be fixed. So we would basically want just one line, not the line break within. So the text is 1.8 millimeters. So that means when we make here only two millimeters, this will be enough. Click apply and okay. And we close this report, update our master data and update our report. And what you can see now is that the text is automatically become smaller. So what happened here is that ePlan automatically scale the text down so, so far that it fits to your alignment box. As you can see now here, that this is only 1.33 millimeters now instead of 1.8. So this is another possibility how to bring your text that it fits always in your space. Thanks for watching this video. If you have further questions, please leave a comment below this video. Drop a like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video, which I recommend you on the right side. Grow your e skills.